have so much fun going out when filming for my YouTube. Welcome back, I'm Mauro. Today we are talking about wireless focus pools and why you need one of these systems if you go on a bigger production scale. finally back in my rebuilt apartment and in my new built studio and I will be making a full in-depth studio tour when I finish my desk build and also my background so stay tuned well let's get back to the Moza iFocus system focus pullers are here to assist the camera operators on nailing the perfect focus on the subject of filming and leaving the camera operator much more less stress to deal with so Moza came in with this completely wireless system that works with the iMoza follow focus motor. This system is completely wireless and works with built-in batteries in the Moza iFocus motor and also on the Moza iFocus control wheel. And you can use them also in other standalone applications and not only with the Moza Air 2, you can mount it on the Ronin S, Crane 3, Weeby Lab or any other gimbal. They will work perfectly. The Moza iFocus control unit can be charged via the USB-C cable, just like the Moza iFocus motor. Connecting the Moza iFocus is really simple. Power it on holding the center button. Enter the menu system, select wireless and then pair. Now turn on the iFocus motor and the pairing will happen in a couple of seconds. On the motor settings you can select the rotating direction. On the function you can select the start ending point of the follow focus motor, turning your lens in the motor to calibrate option. You can calibrate in two ways, manually via the remote or manually by hand, that's my favorite. Select manual hand and put the lens focus motor to your starting position. Then press the right wheel button and select the ending motor position. Press another time the right wheel button to confirm. That's it, your starting and ending point of the focus control is set. You can actually select your wheel calibration and sensitivity of your desired rotation speed to nail the perfect focus. There is also an option to adjust the brightness of the OLED screen. On the main screen you will find a really accurate percentage of the follow focus travel wheel, the connection strength with the iFocus motor, the iFocus motor battery level and the iFocus controller battery level. We have rigged up the Moza iFocus system and the iFocus motor in a really simple and easy run and gun setup. Using the wireless image transmission system from Holland called Mars 300, the small HD 5 inch monitor and the Moza Air 2 using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera for a really easy and fast setup system. If you are just starting out with a bigger production, this system could come really handy if you want a wireless follow focus system and a dedicated follow focus operator to step up the game. What do you think guys, is it a great system if you are just starting out? Comment section down below. And we are actually going straight to the comments. We have Wakaran. Damn, I heard of the battery being improved on the Sony A7 III, but seeing it compared to the Sony A6400 really blew my mind. That's impressive. Yeah, the Sony A7 III battery lasts double than the Sony A6400. And if you want that battery juice, well, get the Sony A7 III. We have another great comment, Eric the Watcher. Thumbs down for needlessly saying Sony 12,000 times. Sony, 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 Sony. We have another comment from Jeffrey. I am trying to figure out the A6400 with a couple of lenses or the A7 III with just one lens. I am looking about a 2500 budget. I am a photographer and videographer. I document everything. Well, I would still go for the Sony A7 III with one lens. Well, there is a new lens coming out from Samyang, the 45mm 1.8 but I will still recommend the Zeiss 55 for your first lens. And we have Coco with always the same reference to Piper Blush. Great vid. 
Well, maybe I should make a collab video with Piper Blush. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one in my new build studio. Bye!